G'day, it's Pete here, and I'm back again for another weekly free instant tournament. Let's jump straight in. So go up to Solitaire, then to weekly free instant tournament. Give it a shot. And let's see what we can actually do. So I've got 14 points. Pass, pass to me. I actually really like this 14 count. Um, most of my points are in my long suits. I've got a couple of good intermediates and mostly aces and kings. So I'm actually going to upgrade this one and uh, open one no trump. Okay, we get to four hearts. Now, if I opened a club, it might go like a club, a heart, two hearts. Uh, you'd still probably get to four hearts, but maybe the opponents can get to four spades. Sacrifice. Four hearts also hasn't made just yet. Now, uh, that two of diamonds really looks like a singleton to me. Could be low from three. Um, and there's an interesting one about which hand to plan from. I think planning from the north hand's easier. It's got the better side suit. Um, so we'd have no spades, no diamond losers. Two club losers, two, maybe three heart losers on a bad day. Um, for clubs, I want to sort of like lead low to the queen and low back to the ten sort of stuff. Um, hearts, I want to lead up towards the jack. I'm missing ace, queen, nine. It's pretty interesting after that. But... I'm tempted to play like a spade to the ace. So twofold. I was thinking of just winning the jack of diamonds and leading a heart straight away. Uh, I thought if diamonds are 4-1, it's starting to tangle them up, but maybe that's like the best play. The other thing I was thinking of is a spade to the ace and then a heart up. Now, if hearts break bad, I might like open myself up to them attacking spades. Um, Points wise, I had 14, dummy had 10. So there's 16 points missing and East is, does not have 12 of them. Okay, so we'll just lay low to the Jack. That worked, but we haven't seen the nine. Okay, West led low from presumably three. Four, okay, so I've found the nine, but I'm, I think that hearts are now breaking. That the queen will fall. Yeah, so they trumped in with a natural trump trick. So that one's okay. Uh, from here, I can make it pretty comfortably. I can play the ten of diamonds, rough a spade, and then just dump two clubs. So um, if there's a singleton king of clubs, I'll be okay. The uh, eleven tricks. There's not going to be a singleton king of clubs. Yep, yeah, now we'll get one more. 100%. Wow, what, what is everyone else doing? You just open one club, uh, the opponents find their spades, and they can make it to three spades. Or if you bid to four hearts, then uh, they bid four spades, and they've got a good sacrifice there. So there's like a little known thing about opening one no trump is it's really preemptive as well. Not only do you show your high card points, the shape of your hand, and have really good system over it to untangle what responder should do, but it also cuts out the entire one level from the opponents. It's awkward for them to come in and bid on over, so it's really difficult for them to try and get their hand across when you open one no trump it's one of your strongest bids so try and bid it more in essence uh 14 point uh this time ace jack doubleton no tens uh i'm just <laughs> i was like i'm not opening this one one no trump um also we're vulnerable um and then i was like okay let's consider pass no um i almost passed not intentionally, but just like when I was not trying to bid one no trump. Uh, so we've opened a diamond and when you got 12 to 14 balanced, if the auction gets competitive, you just want to uh, sort of stop bidding there. Now it is interesting that East bid one spade, two spades, but doesn't didn't open there. Um, there's a few different reasons they could have. Um, maybe their suit's too weak. Um, or maybe they've got like 10 points and um, thought it was too good to preempt. Sometimes they could have like six spades and four hearts, not this particular auction. Um, but if you got six spades and four hearts, maybe they don't want to do it. Um, but here they are. 
Um, I'm pretty tempted to lead a spade for some reason. I think it's a bad lead, though. Not for, like, giving up the queen, but they're just going to work on hearts or clubs. Like, I don't think they're going to be trumping in the west hand. Um, but my hand is awful to lead from. Um, thinking of just leading a heart, leading through their strength, see what they do. I don't particularly like any lead here. Really not happy to see... I was really hoping to see the ace of hearts there. Um, seeing it go low to the 10. Um, the other reason I was considering a heart is the fact that ace bid one spade, two spades. I thought it was really likely that they just had a singleton um, heart because they didn't even just give preference to partner's suit. So so they got ace, 10 of heart. So that's truly awful. Um Okay, so they're throwing clubs, so I want to try and get club tricks before they go away. Okay, so my partner had the king of clubs. The other thing I could have considered was trying to um, cut their entries out by like playing a diamond early. Uh, but they had six spades, Two hearts, two clubs. I've got three diamonds. Um, they had the queen of clubs, ace of hearts, king of spades. They could have the queen. Of, like, I'm vaguely considering underleading the diamond, um, but I think they'll just get it right. So we'll just take the ace of diamonds. I'm getting a poor score here. Um, if I get like 30%, it'll be good. The partner had queen jack, so it didn't matter. But yeah, my heart dis lead uh, probably cost a trick. Well, I did score, still score making a hearts. 3%. Some people beat two spades. So what were they leading? Ace of clubs. My spade lead would have actually worked out uh, reasonably well there. Ace of Diamonds works well. Yeah. I think pretty much anything but a heart here. Or the Queen of Spades. To be fair, I wasn't really considering the Queen of Spades or the King of Hearts play. Um, but everything else was beating at one. Um, and what did I have to do? My table. Did I have to switch to... So, heart... I think I had to take one club and then go diamonds. So here, ace of clubs, that's fine. And now I have to... Heart's good enough? Oh, wow. Why is a heart good enough? Heart, jack. They're off with the jack of spades. Play a spade. If my partner roughs with the jack of spades, I get another chance to cut their communication, I think. Um, hey, Yamanya, welcome. Um, anyway, uh, misdefended that one. Um, 18 high card points. This is a pretty good one. Um, kings and queens, like, together. Some good intermediates, as I was mentioning before. Fourth suit forcing. How do I show extra points? You know, 15 plus high card points. That seems good. Rebittable diamonds. All right. So um, I've shown a spade stopper. Shown 15 plus points. Let's give my partner king queen to six diamonds and two aces. Ace of spades, ace of clubs. So king, queen to six, two other aces. You can probably make slam ops at that. Um, we would not lose any diamonds. We could set up my clubs or my hearts, whichever suit I've got stuff in. 
How can I... Four diamonds shows four to five diamonds. That's ridiculous. Oh, wait, no, three to six diamonds. It's still ridiculous. How can I have six diamonds? Maybe I just black with them. All right. Two or five key cards with the queen. Where a key card's short. Yikes. If I have no here, would say we've got all the kings. All right, well, hopefully uh, they don't know how to cash two aces. Well, I think they'll know how to cash two aces. I really wanted to bid something like four diamonds to uh, try and slam try them. But, uh, yeah. I felt like I hadn't expressed my hand enough. Um, and partner was still going there. Why are they not accepting my claim? Like, what if diamonds are four zero and I have to find a way back to my hand? 18%. Okay. Some people bid three no. So what did three no? Like to me, that just didn't show how good your hand was. Like... I think maybe bidding four diamonds is like the best thing. They open one no. Don't like that. This is like a, a decent way. Like maybe I could have uh, bid it this way where a club, a diamond, and then bid two no, 18, 19 balanced. And now when partner says, hey, I've got diamonds, you're far less interested. And then they black would you. Yeah, I kind of like this option. Um, it gets you to five diamonds, which, again, not a great match point score. Getting to three no is good, but with like how it panned out for me, I was like, slam could just be absolutely laid out with partner having like 13 points and they had fourth suit forced. Anyway, we got our work cut out for ourselves. Well, Actually, we're at 40%, which is incredible, seeing as I've gotten two terrible scores and 100%. That part's not incredible, but uh, like that the math checks out. So here, a uh, partner stamened and invited me, and uh, this is a spot where, that's a nice lead, um, when all the points are sitting to your right, your finesses are going to work and it'll be easy to, to play the hand. Such as here, I've got uh, 17 points. I would always accept the invite, but there's a spot where I'd uh, be more aggressive towards accepting it. Um, we've got four diamonds and two spades on the lead is six. I can build four clubs for 10. That's sort of the best we can do. Um, maybe if they don't take their um, two hearts. Anything I can ever do here, run all the clubs and the diamonds. Um, all right. Maybe. No, I can't. I was thinking maybe I could squeeze them. No. All right. Let's just claim uh, 10. 85% for that. People aren't getting the king of spades lead because they bid. Some people bid two clubs. To me, like, I'm kind of surprised that the two club bid doesn't elicit a spade lead, but a one no trump bid does. That seems counterintuitive to me. Um, feels like you would still probably have time to do it. No. Anyway. What do we have here? We've got 14, pass, pass to me, third seat, unfavorable. Actually, I don't want partner to lead club, so let's just open a diamond. Make a support double. Interesting. Partner's a passed hand that then jumped to game, so they should have some shape, maybe a singleton spade. They have their singleton spade. They have a 6-4 shape. 
All right, we got a diamond loser, a heart loser, and three club losers. I could throw something on the king of spades. I can finesse the king of hearts. I can hope they don't rough a club. I could finesse a diamond, but the diamond's most likely going to go. East is a past hand. Whoever called West just did a simple raise. Okay, that's nice. I want to get back. I want to finish drawing trumps in the south hand, and I thought hearts were likely to be 3 1. I'm not in any rush to discard the diamond yet, so we'll just lead a club up. That's nice. That's very nice. Um, the other reason that I didn't want to discard the diamond is if I could play two rounds of clubs, I could discover, um, like, if West had a singleton king of clubs. Uh, I would still have three losers, but I'd want to throw the uh, club away um, instead and then rely on the diamond finesse. But, uh, here we are, 96%. This is really tops and bottoms. Um, other people... So if you open a club, they don't overcall. Your partner bid two hearts. Oh, they do a fit jump. <laughs> okay, that is like... Um, pretty hilarious that me opening a diamond gave my partner control to insist on um, just bidding four hearts once they found a fit. Whereas uh, they do a fit jump shift over um, a fit showing jump over the one club bid. Well, it's better to be lucky than good. All I wanted to do was encourage partner to lead a diamond if we were defending. Um, right, so a club. There's actually a hand where opening a diamond uh, is probably a very reasonable thing to do. So when you have a five, four, three, one, uh, if I open a club, like I could like rebid a no trump here, but that would show like um, 12 to 14 balanced and partner is very entitled to uh, rebid their hearts. Uh, if I bid two diamonds, that would be a reverse and show too many points. I could bid two clubs. It's very viable bid, but my clubs are actually pretty weak. Um, so uh, not super thrilled about it. But if we started with one diamond, we could then bid two clubs. So it would show five diamonds and four clubs, which is a bit of a lie, but not like terrible. And our diamonds are really good quality and... I think that's probably the best way to actually try and bid this one. Um, but here I am. I've opened a club. Uh, what do we want to do from here? So uh, two clubs would be the textbook bid, or I could try one no trump. Um, I really do try and avoid rebidding one no trump with um, singletons and partner suit, but at match points with a bad club suit, I can't really bring myself to bidding it. New minor forcing. Uh, so partner's invitational. I kind of want to um, just bid three no. Show a maximum. Maybe I shouldn't because we've got a, like a 5-1 heart fit. Okay. We do have a nice club fit though. Right. So we've got three spades, a heart is four, and a diamond is five. Uh, if we could get the club suit going, then that's great. I definitely want to start with a club towards the king. Ah, okay, that's nice. Um, if they, that looks like a singleton queen, they've still got the 10, but we can finesse that. Um, so all the clubs will be good unless they've found some really interesting false guard from queen 10. But uh, let's finesse the diamond here. We've still got coverage. And uh, let's lead a low club towards the six. Then we can finesse the diamond again. Okay. And now we'll uh, just enjoy the clubs. One diamond discard, two diamond discard. My five's now a winner. 
Okay, 12 tricks, another 96%. So here, there I was running uh, the long suits. I wasn't really paying too much attention to the discards, except knowing that I always want to keep an eye out for the next suit I'm going to play, which was diamonds. So that's all I was really counting there. And uh, once the diamonds were good, my five was high and 96% uh, there. How many people went the, so what they went one club, two clubs, one club, two clubs. I haven't seen anyone open a diamond and rebid uh, two clubs. Yeah. Anyway, I don't think this particular hand was a diamond and two clubs would probably be the best way to navigate it. All right, we're back up to 66% after I've completely mangled two boards, which is always nice. And here we have 18 high card points and a seven card heart suit. Uh, one heart, negative double. Could be missing a slam. My king of spades isn't great, but partner could easily have enough stuff in the minors. They have enough stuff in the minors, but, um, well, not quite. We're missing the two aces. Um, One heart, two spades. So spades are six, three, but East didn't raise. Okay, so I need hearts to be one loser. So let's see what could happen. Let's see the 10. Oh, the queen. Just as good. I did have only seven. I did have eight. Eight, seven. Okay. 64%. So 64%, everyone was uh, bidding four hearts, basically. Someone did get to three, no, they bid. Whoa. <laughs> That's a, that's a play. All right, final board, we're up to 66. Imagine what we could have done if we didn't do two terrible things. Uh, we have 14 high card points. It's gonna spade, pass, and no trap. My king, jack of spades don't look great. My heart suit seems weak as, I might just pass. I could have even considered a takeout double. Um, I think that would be reasonable, but let's just defend. So East has shown a three card invite there. My King Jack of Spades is still poorly placed. Ace Jack of Clubs are good. We've got 11 high card points. We got the two of hearts lead, which could have been away from the King. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, West bid diamonds. I want to take the king of spades. They didn't try finessing spades, so I think my partner's probably got the queen. Um, I'll just be passive here. They don't have too many entries to the clubs, and they can throw... I have another entry. They're trumping it. Oh, neat. Okay. Okay, so through a diamond. So they had two clubs, three hearts, five spades. Is that all they had? They definitely had two clubs. Five spades, three hearts. Anyway. I've got the rest. Do I like this one's bad? No, 68%. One, okay, so if you bid two hearts, what actually happens there? 
You bid two hearts, west did pass, would go pass, east did three spades. Partner didn't lead away from the king of hearts, which is still good. Um, yeah. Well, uh, that was this week's weekly friends and tournament. Pretty interesting. Um, I don't feel like I did anything particularly spectacular, but things certainly did some dumb stuff. Like this one, I think is really awkward. I do think like bidding a club and then two no's probably a good approach. Um, so I think that was a better way to bid that one. I, f I just felt like I had more and then um, didn't the four. I didn't want to bid four diamonds for whatever reason. Um, and I just found something that said, hey, 18 points. Here, I think this one's just awful to lead from. Um, but heart lead turned out terribly. I don't mind the heart lead so much, but after I played the ace of clubs, I should have considered much like more about just like trying to knock out that diamond entry before they could enjoy all the, those cards. But uh, yeah, um, hope you all enjoyed uh, this week's weekly free instant tournament. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>